Hi, my name is Jonathan Beebe and welcome to Beebe Outdoors. You know, we're about a month out now from deer season and I'm getting amped up and I'm getting excited. So I started looking at last year's success and I figured I'd share it with you guys and let you guys see the highlights of my 2022 season. So let's not spend a whole lot of time talking about it. Let's get right into it. Well, I got windy today. <laughs> it's October 1st. Uh, just hunting behind the house here. Got a pretty pretty good set of oaks back here and the deer have been coming in every day, so. Well, we'll see what happens. Happy deer season's here. Just got done with an unsuccessful bear hunt in the UP, so. Now the deer season's here and I actually get to have the stick bow in my hand. It's gonna be pretty nice, but. We'll see what happens. Hopefully everything goes well. Go look at her. Is that a deer? No. Want to touch it? No. No? Want to hold the camera and talk so that way Dad can talk? Wow. Good. So on that first doe, I ended up putting it just a little bit back. My up and down was great, but I ended up putting it just a little bit back. Had a uh, liver gut situation. Ended up having to let that sit until morning. And we ended up having to recover her in the morning. The second doe obviously spined right there, but two deer down on opening day. Couldn't ask for anything better. Well, it's October 29th. Deer been on their feet the last couple days moving, looking for hot does. I'm, uh, give me a second, I'm crazy about the wind. We're still good. Um, hunting the funnel in between two hay fields here. I got a hay field over here, I got a hay field over here. There's a little patch of hay right here in the middle that they cross in between. I got a couple scrapes down this line right here along the oak line. So, the last couple days I've got a camera sitting over on the side in the last couple days have I getting pictures of does running out of the pines over here um, so I'm just gonna take a guess the bucks chasing them I don't know who the buck is what he is but I've got a couple couple decent bucks on here that I'd like to shoot one real nice one one definite shooter but we'll see what happens um, hello hello Sit tight, it's hot, it's supposed to be 60 degrees. I'm in my base layers. I'll just keep
keep watching the wind. Hopefully everything stays and hopefully everything goes well. It's almost November. not my big boy, but I'll definitely take him. So this is about eight points. He's got really weak G3s, but for the year I've had, I'll take him. Watch the blood. Good blood trail so far. He ran off. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let him sit till dark. Let's see what we got here. Like that arrow. Just covered in blood. <laughs> Shot looked good. Uh, watch the blood pumping out of him. When he was running away, but that's what you like to see on an arrow. <laughs> Alright. Let's go look in the field. I'll leave this right here. Let's go look at the field, see what we got. I know where he went in at, so. Okay with that one. He little eight point, but he's biggest my biggest buck with a recurve. So let me get him up. Let me, let me get him tagged. And well, it's November seventeenth. I'd rather do this out in the stand, but it's getting pretty windy. Probably won't be able to hear much when I whisper. But it's November seventeenth. Heading out. Uh, we're getting a pretty decent snowstorm coming in. It's actually snowing pretty decent right now. Southwest wind, a little bit more out of the south than what I'd like, but I think I can get away with it. Seen 13 deer yesterday, one buck, 
was a spike. So, GB. But, I don't know. Might hold out for my buck. Might also shoot a doe tonight. If we get a mature doe to come through. So, I don't know. Let's see. I am liking this weather though. I've been liking it a lot. I really enjoy hunting in the snow. So, well, let's get in stand. We're in a little bit late. It's about 3 o'clock. It's dark at 5 40. Matt. Now what's crazy is that that first buck that came in was a completely different buck than what that second buck was leaving. So the next following couple hunts, I went and I was ending up sitting over there and unfortunately, I didn't see any of the bucks. So, now that the first week of gun season's done, time to take out my little hunting buddy, Max. Uh, he's my son, he's three years old at the time of this video, so we were out having a ball, spending time with each other, looking for deers. See what happens. It's like 4.30, we'll see if one comes. 
It's November 25th, doing an evening hunt. Uh, haven't seen much for bucks. I'm actually out in my early season clothes. This warm spell happened a couple days ago. Jumped up to 50 degrees. It's supposed to be 50 for like the next 10 days. Do not know, but I moved over. Um, I am going to. I'm gonna start popping does. The wife wants me to shoot does. My owner wants me to shoot does. So I'm gonna start shooting does. They've been coming through. There's a little funnel right here. They've been coming through pretty decent on the way to the field behind me. start off our, our our doe season. <laughs> we can still shoot a buck right now, but I don't expect to see a buck. So, time to start popping does. I don't know how well I'll be able to see, but I can actually shoot deer behind me too. I have to take off a limb or so. Maybe I'll do that right now. Take off a limb. Is the season. Time to get some meat on the table. Matt. I have no idea where he came from, but I just filmed my second bug tag for the first time in my life. Oh my god. I don't know who he is. I was in here uh, playing a game on my phone. I looked over to my left, and there he was. She's big old racks in there. Oh my god, I can't believe I just did that. Oh, yes. All right, buddy, what are we doing? Go find a big deer. We're gonna go find a big deer. I hope he's big for you, buddy. Come on, this way. I'm gonna look for dad's buck. This way, bud. Over here. We gotta go over there to those woods, okay? Okay. Come on, I think the blood's over there too. <laughs> you bet you we find some deer poops. Mm, well, keep looking. Let's see if we find any deer poops. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we're almost to the edge of the woods, buddy. Almost there. Oh, Max, look around. Do you see anything? Look behind Daddy. Do you see anything? Hey. Hey. What's that? Big buck! Yes! Go 
oh. shot me. <laughs> Go get him. <laughs> yeah. Get shot. High five. Thumbs up. Oh, we got a run high five. There you go. Is that a good one? Yeah. Oh, he's got a leaf. Yeah, he got a leaf on him. Yeah. <laughs> I can see him. Well, pick him up. Yeah. Grab him. Grab him by his antlers, buddy. Look at this. He's huge. Yeah. I love you too, buddy. I love this pepper. Yeah. Is that a good one? Yeah. <laughs> I love that pepper. Yup. Yeah. Look at this. He's on the throat. That's not his throat. It's behind the shoulder, buddy. Yeah. And that. Can you take the leaf off of him? Yup. December 11th, we're back out here in the field. I seen uh, eight yesterday. It's a little bit after three. They all came out basically a little bit before four. Mm -hmm. So, kind of on a little bit of a doe management, tagged out on bucks and uh, farmer. Farmer wants to knock down the doe population, so. I don't know how big tonight's dough, uh, dough will be, but if we see one within range and Maxwell wants us to shoot it, we're going to shoot it. So, I don't know. Hope everything goes well. Are you eating a twig? Let's see. This looks like an antler. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? So. You got your binoculars? Yep. Where's your binoculars? I keep pulling <laughs> off my hand. Yeah, buddy? I can pull it right off the back. Yep, that's what we do. All you have to do is just pull these sleeves. Why are you rolling your sleeves up? You're going to get cold. You have to hold them. Buddy. Gotta be quiet, okay? Well, it's December 30th. Doing an evening hunt. I got two days left to season. I got one hanging. Hopefully we can get this one on video. But, uh... I came out here to hunt yesterday, and I've been seeing them at the north half side of the field. But I ended up turning it around randomly, and I looked. Here comes a deer coming up the hill over here. So I bailed out. I came around back behind me, back behind me in that part of the field. I came around. Well, that's not thick enough to block me. So I ended up jumping them about. About a dozen deer had some mature does into it, so not too fond of that. But it looks like they're looks like because there's no snow, they swap bedding and then bedding on the other side instead of up in the pines. So they're doing that, and they're coming down to the south here for the neighbor's field. So they're doing that. I'm cutting them off in my field.
Well, with those last two does, that wraps up my 2022 deer season. Hope you liked the video. Please subscribe to the channel. I'm going to be start pushing out more videos, and hopefully the 2023 season can be a lot better than the 2022. Thanks for watching.